Hi, my name is Jackson. And I'm Dylan. And our presentation was on cloning. So our claim was the power of cloning cannot be utilized well in our current society, and it should be banned. All right, so evidence for that is ethicists from the White House have long debated the topic of cloning to the Vatican. They, all, they often ask the question, do we have the right to bioengineer a copy of a living creature, especially given the pain and suffering the process requires? The answer is simple, no. The humans tend to push the boundaries and go to the extreme. For example, cloning dogs takes tons of embryos and dollars just to make one clone. When undergoing the process of cloning, the carrier is usually injected with hormones that over time can have long-term negative effects on the offspring or clone. As a result, most offspring are miscarried, born dead, or deformed. So our problem is that cloning animals is very unsuccessful the majority of the time. Um, it was 2005 when the first ever dog was cloned, and that process took a thousand embryos and a hundred borrowed wombs. Um, it can cause various health problems and premature death, and it doesn't stop there. Uh, it's also very costly. It's about 200000 to $2 million. Um, it's also the least reliable for reproduction, and it, it, it's almost a guarantee that it will cause health problems. All right, um, a piece of evidence for that. Uh, deceased pets take a toll on a human heart. When cloning became an option, it was thought as an open window to bring back the dead, although they would not have the same memory as the dead animal. It will have similar physical traits. Some believe that this will be a continuation of their deceased friendship. So another piece of our evidence for our problem is that people have done experiments like these in real life. Scientists had successfully cloned a dog back in 2017, but one of the dogs, Dolly, died at half of her expected age from lung disease. Scientists believe and have observed that cloning cuts their life expectancy in half and that clones are more vulnerable to diseases. All right, so some solutions to widespread cloning is we should let time do its job and wait for about five to 10 years before we start actively cloning again. The technology will become more developed and we will have more resources. It will hopefully cost a lot less because it'll been around for years by that point. And uh, here are some bar graphs of, um, yeah, there's bar so, graphs. So this is like the life expectancy of like a regular animal, this big, like light blue graph. And then these tiny light, or not light blue, um, dark blue bars here are the, um, the clones. All right, so there are some animal protective groups around the world. Some you might know, like PETA. Um, it's no surprise that any animal protective group is against cloning. These groups are in full work mode as they're trying to round up animals and bring them to shelters and hide animals from being victims of clones. All right, thank you for listening. Yeah.